It's the oranges that I remember. I wish I could tell you what's happened. Stuck on My Love is about one woman played by Nana Cherry over two days. This woman has had a bad experience in her, in her past and over those two days we just watch her recover slightly from that bad experience. I wish I could forget that day. This film is quite personal one for me. I think that I'm fascinated by recovery, how people get out of bad stuff, you know. I think for me, I was brought up in a war in Northern Ireland and I was bullied very badly at school. Um, and it takes you a long time to get over those things, you know. I'm not, it's, I, I don't mean that I, overall I've been very lucky in my life, but bullying a child is extremely damaging to that child, you know, and you, you ask yourself, when when will that sadness end, or when will I forget that? And I think the answer is never, in a way. Um, but I, I, my partner, she works with people who have been traumatised, and again and again, you see people recovering from really bad stuff. And so, if you have your own kind of small bad experiences, or your own small losses, you're very, you become very interested in the fortitude, the inner strength in human beings that makes them pick themselves up again. And I think that's the personal meaning for me in this film, we're watching somebody just pick herself up again, and at the end she runs, and she's hardly moved for this film, she's been almost static, and then she runs. I was driving, slowly, the radio was on, and then, Cherry had never acted before. I'd been a big fan of her music and I loved the way her body language, frankly, she had a confident way of standing. I just loved the way she performed. And so I just wrote to her and said, would you be in this film? She's Swedish, she speaks Swedish, she spent a lot of time in Stockholm, so she fitted into the world well. And we started filming with her and it turned out that she had some sad experiences in her life that were not dissimilar to the storyline. So it just worked hand in glove rather well. She was close to the contours of the film as it were and she I have to say was a joy to work with you know she just really relaxed in front of the camera and also no diva no ego no faff or fuss you know. I'm ready for my förmåga to skada There's a great movie genre called the City Symphony, uh, where cities are filmed almost as if they're a piece of music. So Stuck on My Love is related to that kind of thing. There's a lot of music in it, and it's got that kind of structure of one of the city symphonies. Um, but it, it's, I love films about one person, a lonely person. You think of films as varied as Jack Lemmon in The Apartment, John Wayne in The Searchers, these solitary human being films. And Stuck On My Love is about a solitary human being. She doesn't talk to a single person in her two days. And so it relates to that kind of stuff, the lonely person in the isolated landscape. Movie lovers in general, we hope will like this film because it plays with some of the style of cinema. It's trying to be a proper piece of cinema, first of all. But I think that anybody who's had a bad experience and has found that moment of recovery when you suddenly feel as if you've thrown off the blanket a little bit, I think anything, anybody who's had one of those experiences, which I think is most of us in this room and most of us in this city, will see themselves in this character because it's quite a universal thing. How does the darkness become a bit less dark?
what you want to do is have the maximum intimacy of, during the shooting, the ma maximum aliveness, so if anything unexpected happens that's good for the film, you want to be able to grab that. So you have to keep all that fresh and not be overscheduled. However, I like, I like the combination of having a good structure and then freedom. So this film had a very clear structure, three acts, two days. We knew exactly what the kind of contour, the emotional contour was. And then beyond that, we could play. When they watch Stockholm, my love will be will at first think, oh, there's not much happening here. There's a kind of flatness. There's a kind of inertia here. But then they'll slowly, I think, start to see little moments of awakening. And I think there'll be hope that they'll be drawn into her world, her emotion, and her kind of hope that things will get better. And I think that if I've done my job right, people will feel, will see whatever their own trouble is in her. But they'll also see this is a real light at the end of the tunnel film, you know, and I think they'll see that glimmer of the light, I hope. So I think they'll be moved.